guys, we're back with another video from Northern Argentina, and this one is going to be all about the wine. So after spending a couple of days exploring the province of Tucumán, we traveled even further north to the province of Salta. First up was the town of Cafadate, which is a wine producing region in the Calchaquí valleys. Here we planned two back-to-back -back days of visiting vineyards and enjoying a bit of wine. In this video, we'll take you to two wineries that came highly recommended, Bodega Piatelli and Bodega El Esteco. So we invite you to come along for the fun and also drink responsibly. Not like this one over here. Not like that. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again. Oh, that went down the wrong way and it burned. Try again. <laughs> How excited are you to drink some wine? <laughs> oh. uh, like a kid in a candy store here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're at Bodega Spiatelli here in the town of Cafadate. This is a place that was recommended to us by several people, so it's the first one we wanted to visit. And the plan is to have some lunch here, and we're also signing up for a tour. Bodega Piatelli is a short 15 minute drive from the center of town. It's situated at the foot of the mountains and has beautiful views all around. They have an on-site restaurant that is heavy on the barbecue and also features some regional specialties. We couldn't get a table just randomly showing up on a Sunday, but that didn't stop us from ordering a bottle of wine and enjoying some appetizers al fresco. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Our first bodega here first in bodega. Salta. We are at Piatelli. Piatelli, and we are trying a uh, Malbec Tana. 50-50, very nice place. Mm -hmm. The wine is really tasty. Wonderful. The color is red, ruby red, you know, yeah. like, I mean. Really, really nice, nice aroma as well. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can smell the Tanat grape. The bodega itself is uh, right at the side of the, uh, at the foot of the mountain. And down there you can see the whole valley. You can see the other uh, cordon of uh, mountains over there with that uh, red terracotta color on the sides, beautiful place. Look, it feels like time is standing still, you know? Yeah, and apart from the vines, they also have beautiful gardens with like yeah. rose bushes, you have cacti, you have yeah. trees. It's a stunning property it's to visit. Beautiful. It's beautifully yeah. manicured. You have the mountains in the background, you have the vineyards yeah. in all directions. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just amazing. A, it's a slice of tranquility out here. Definitely. And we have food coming. Yeah, we ordered empanadas. some empanadas, a trio of empanadas with different fillings. Yeah. So we'll show you that as soon as it arrives. As soon as we it gets here. Yeah. to accompany we'll the wine. Tracking. Until then, cheers. Until we, then. we drink wine. Yeah. We drink. We drink we happily. Drink. All right, the empanadas have arrived. Three different kinds of empanadas. I'm starting off with the cheese ones. Yeah, they're piping hot. Look at Whoa. that filling. Like they are loaded. Oozing. They are plump empanadas, let me tell you. And we've got two sauces. This one is like a tomato and onion base. And this one is a little bit spicy. Yeah, it's, it's like a bit of a, a kick. Like a ji amarillo ají. from Peru. Yeah. Yeah. But they're really they're really hot because they just came out of the oven. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very hard to eat like this. <laughs> they're piping hot. Yeah. But they're good. Mine, the, the meat, this is beef. Yeah. And it's cut with a knife. Oh, it's wow. not uh, ground beef. And this is typically done with the uh, salta empanada. Yeah. Wow. And the Tucumán too, sometimes. Yeah, I think they do it in the north. In the northern part of the country, yeah. 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 Mm. All of them are good, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, my. Well, we need something in our stomachs to absorb the wine, so empanadas it is. This one is so good. This is the osobuco. Yeah. Um, it's a beef that just melts in your mouth. It's wow. like so buttery and so juicy. So yeah, the food is just as good as the wine over mm -hmm. here in Piatelli, huh? My oh my. If you want to actually have a meal, you need to reserve to come yeah. here, yeah. We didn't make a reservation, yeah. so they had no tables available. Yeah. That's why we're just drinking wine and having empanadas on a barrel, on yeah. the stools. That's but all there was. We're not complaining. This is good stuff.
been wandering around the vineyard for the past hour or so waiting for the clock to strike three that's when they start the next tour they stop briefly during the lunch hour when it comes to wine tastings this bodega offers two different options you can try seven reserve wines for 300 pesos or five grand reserve wines for 380. we opted for the latter and at the time of our visit that was the equivalent of about six us dollars We went on a tour of the winery and even got a peek at their cellar and later on we got to taste their wines. What are we having here, guys? The white Torrontes Chardonnay. Yep. I'm loving the Torrontes. Torrontes is very nice. It's like fresh, crisp, with aromas of pears, apples, and pineapples. What do you think, huh? And uh, <laughs> I like a wine that tastes like grapes. You know, that tastes like wine. Like I always say, if I want the taste of fruit, I go to the fruit store and save a lot of money and buying a bottle of wine. Also, Sam's not really into white wine, so he had a sip and put the rest in the spittoon. Hey, I'm what? I, I'm saving I'm I saving for the red. It. I could have had it. He's just like yeah, but Audrey, we don't we don't want to have to carry you home, so you know, facing ourselves okay. here. Okay, next time you leave wine left over and he comes to it. You throw it out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Payback. Okay? Payback. And we have a little bit of bread. Yeah. With some olive oil. Okay. It's perfect. To clean the... Clean the palate. Mm -hmm. Le put a bit of a layer in the belly. Hello. Rosé. Made out of Malbec. <laughs> Nothing left of the rosé. But he says it wasn't his favorite, even though yeah. he had all of it. He drank yeah. all of it and he's like, not oh, my favorite. <laughs> and it's a Malbec. I didn't know that Malbec could uh, be made into a rosé, but apparently they leave it for three hours. Yeah. But it's not my kind of wine. I won't buy it and uh, it's too dry in the mouth, you know, like it leaves your mouth like a... One, this one is from Cafayate, this one is from Mendoza. This is high altitude wine? Yes. And then standard altitude. I'm gonna try the high altitude. The smell is really... It's beautiful. No, you, it's guys are, you guys are high, high flyers over here. It smells like grape. <laughs> I really like the high altitude wine from Cafayate. It's like full body but very smooth. Like it just... It doesn't wow. have that uh, alcoholic burn at no. the uh, at the last minute you know when you drink a wine that is halfway there and you drink it and you feel that alcoholic burn in the your throat burn. yeah ah. no <laughs> this one is very smooth we've been having a fantastic wine tour i mean we started off with a bottle of wine for lunch with our empanadas and now we've moved on to a tasting we got here like shortly after noon and uh now by the time we leave, it'll probably be about five o'clock. So nice. we spent a whole afternoon here at the bodega, and uh, I couldn't recommend it more. I come back again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it all over again all at over, a different yeah. winery tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we will. We it's another bodega day, so stay tuned. And this is the last one, right? Last yeah. One. Okay. <laughs> Just like pacing myself. What, did you want two more? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> This is a blend of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, and Merlot. The trio. The trio. The trio. Los Tres Amigos. This one wraps up our tour uh, in the bodega. Yeah. And tomorrow we are going to do it all over again yep. in a different bodega. Yes. Yeah. So, but we've, we've reached our limit. Yeah. What this a great a day. What a, what a fantastic day though, huh? It was a lot of fun. So, Had a great time. Cheers to a fun afternoon. If you're traveling in Argentina, come to Cafajate and visit bodegas. It's the best thing you can do in town, let me tell you. Now fast forward to the following day. 
The next winery and vineyard we visited was Bodega El Esteco. This property is located on the edge of town and since Cafadate is a very small town, that means you can easily walk there. Our plan was to order a bottle of wine and enjoy a nice lunch. Thankfully, we were able to get a table this time. Well, good afternoon guys. Another day, another vineyard. Today we have come to Bodega El Esteco. They also have a restaurant on site that's called La Rosa and they have a hotel called Patios de Cafadate. So there's a lot going on on this property. Yeah. We're here for lunch. We're yeah. hungry. We didn't uh, have reservations and uh, they let us in anyway. So Ooh, bread is very here. good. Yeah. Buenas Hola. tardes. Buenas tardes. Ooh. Gracias. Gracias. But the property is very nice. It's built mm -hmm. on the typical colonial, Spanish colonial construction. Mm -hmm. The way they used to build back in the days. A lot of uh, inner uh, courtyards and a lot of... Uh, kind of like long ter terraces. terraces like yeah. covered, covered terraces. And yeah, it's a very, very nice place to visit. Cheers guys, wine and empanadas have arrived. Wine is here. And empanadas are here. Mr. Dom David. The reserve, Malbec, 2017. And it says it has been stored in oak barrels for 12 months. Yeah, when it's a reserve, it needs at least 12 months in uh, oak barrels, so. It needs time. It's a very uh, soft, mild wine, you know, you cannot go wrong with this one. Top notch. It's very good quality stuff. Oh, yeah. my, my kind of wine. I put it up there as one of my favorite ones from Argentina. Yeah. It's right up there. Right up there. And it's very, very, very reasonably priced, both here and in Canada too. So you guys have the, you guys have beef empanadas. How are they? Sure do. Marvelous, I tell you. Half of it is Look, gone. With a little bit of the sauce on top. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, the sauce really enhances it. The fried ones are just my favorite. They're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Good appetizer so or what? Juicy. Made to perfection. And you know what? I think the pastry is made with lard. Yeah, it, it is. It kind of has that. But that's flavor. They are very small. Here in the northern uh, provinces, they make them smaller. And when you start eating these, you don't stop. It's a danger, you know, because they're so tasty and so good that you could, I could stick myself with about. A dozen, a dozen and a half of these ones, no problem. Oh my. So the best thing to do, instead of uh, having them as an appetizer, maybe one day you just decide to eat nothing but this. Like, <laughs> so you your craving can be satisfied, right? Look at all the cheese, copious amount. Looks amazing. There's a bit of salsa left. Some lime has already been squeezed over top. So I'm loading it up like that. I'm gonna do a one biter. One biter. In he goes. Mm. Wow. I've tried empanadas in a lot of different parts of Argentina. The ones that you get in the north from like Tucumán and Salta, those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. They're just so good. And they go perfectly with a glass of wine. They do. For sure Cheers do. to that. Some Malbec. All right, mains have arrived. What do we got? Mains are here. What have we got? Pettuccini. My dad and I both ended up getting the same dish. Yeah, originally I wanted to try their northern stew, their cazuela, but they were out, they didn't have any, so I got the pasta instead. Yeah, they, they were lentils, very nice. right? Oh yeah, it was like a, a lentil stew, Yeah. which I'm sure would be wonderful with a bit of pork. But yeah, this is very tasty, a nice alternative, and I really like the presentation, how it's kind of rustic. They just serve it to you in the pan on top of this like wooden tray. Here it goes, down the hatch. Down the hatch. Homemade. Mm. You cannot go wrong with that one. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And we also got a little side salad since we haven't been getting lots of vegetables in our system. This is called the Inca salad. I mean, it has quinoa, tomatoes, onions, corn, corn lots of lemon juice. Parsley. Very good. And you, mm. Sam, you've got quite the meal in front of you. I know. Can't wait to show you. Look at this, guys. Well, I'm gonna lift the hood so you can see. Toasted bun, sesame seeds. Mm. I've got egg. I've got tomatoes, I've got lettuce, I've got bacon, cheese, meat. I mean, the meat is so big, it's even oozing out on the sides. Looks incredible. 
And then some pan roasted potatoes here. Looks like it's been seasoned with maybe some cayenne pepper or something. Looks like I've got a nice little sauce here. Creamy sauce. Ooh, like a mayo dip of sorts. That has wasabi in it. Oh my. Oh yeah. That's got some serious kick to it. And star of the show, the burger. That is a big burger, guys. Look oh at that my. in the hands. Barely contain it. Oh, that looks juicy. Oh. Oh yeah, it's like a meat lover's dream, you know. That's yeah, just a beautiful burger, man. Like the food here has been phenomenal. Everything we've had from the bread to the, the empanadas to this. You guys have really enjoyed your mains too. Yeah. This restaurant is fantastic. Love it. Dessert has arrived. Two desserts to be precise. And Audrey's been uh, indulging a bit in both of, of them. Of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so we have uh, flan yeah. with dulce de leche and this is a special kind of flan. It comes with goat milk. So I'm interested to try that. I don't think I've ever had a goat milk flan. Mm -hmm. and over here we have a regional dessert. I, you were saying something like it, it's sort of like an empanada with a, with a sweet inside. Yeah, so it's a phyllo pastry yeah. and it's stuffed with a local fruit called cadote. Yeah. And it's heavy in the hand, it's also really warm too. Yeah. And so you basically smear it on this cheese, is that right? It's not cheese, it is a meringue made with sugar cane, my friend. Well, there we go. Yeah, look at that. And it is hot, let me warn you. Mm. That jam inside, the coyote mm. jam. That's good. Wow. All right, time for the flan with tusu de leche. It's usually made with cow's milk, but in this case they've used goat's milk. So let's see if you can actually taste the difference or not. I couldn't, by the way. No, normally I find goat products are a little bit more salty, but this tastes just very, very milky, like a normal flan. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a very classic dessert in Argentina. I'd say it's probably one of the most common ones. You get your flan with your serving of dulce de leche and yeah, really nice way to end this meal. Fantastic meal overall. And man, I think we're all getting a little sleepy here. It's been a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of wine. And a lot of wine. That's the culture. <laughs> Lunch is over. That was a delicious meal. It came to 50 US dollars. And now we're climbing up a bell tower because we've got to work out, work off <laughs> those calories. And apparently you get some pretty cool views. So here we go, it's very echoey. The bell tower is open to visitors and is free to climb. Once you reach the top, you are treated to views of the vineyards stretching out as far as the eye can see, plus mountains all along the horizon. guys that concludes our visit to bodega el esteco that was fun that was great yeah that was a good meal oh yeah a good wine mm -hmm. now we're ready to go home we have a good siesta, siesta. We maybe relax for a little while we have another half an hour walking mm -hmm. and it's still hot out there you know yeah sam also bought some yeah souvenirs we should also mention there's a hotel that looks fantastic there's here too a hotel gaucho knives knives Stainless steel, very sharp, leather as covered. 
So, so yeah, now we are gonna walk back, back to the house. It's nap time. Words are failing us, so we better <laughs> say goodbye, friends, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join us as we continue our journey through Northern Argentina. Bye!